Hello Cancer, welcome to your reading for December 17th through 23rd. Sorry that it took so long. I had a migraine today and I wasn't doing anything. I was trying to wait till I feel better. So hopefully these will come out tonight or tomorrow depending on how long um, it takes for me to edit them. So I'm sorry about that. And let's focus on the cards. Spirit. Guardian Angel, Divine Energy, Universal Energy. What do you have for Cancer for December 17th through 23rd? Would you like for them to know, pay attention to, or be aware of? Okay. So I changed the reading a little bit. I don't know if you've seen the others. Um, not in a bad way. It's just more cards, I think. But I, I, I'm really feeling this way, so I'm probably going to keep it for a while. Okay, Cancers. Ooh, this week you're deciding that something isn't working for you. A relationship, a situation, it looks more like a relationship to me. Isn't working for you. Um, Page of Pentacles comes up, so you gave it a chance. You gave it a good go, for sure. Okay, so let's see what you got. Okay, you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and there is, mm, the devil is under it. Um, I feel like you're letting something go because it doesn't have a stability that you want it to have. The devil is coming out to me because you're letting something go. Um, probably something that you've been holding on to for a while, hoping that it would get better, hoping that um, things would change, okay? But you're seeing that things aren't changing, so there's something that needs to be done. With the Page of Pentacles, you definitely gave it a good go, okay? You didn't just say, oh, this is it, and then I'm done. You really tried. You tried to learn your lessons, okay? But it seems like you were going back over things or back over situations that you really didn't need to go through, okay? It, it looks like it was tumultuous. There were lies there, uh, people being slick and cunning, okay? And either there is some negative conversation, okay? Or you decided to stop conversating with that person or stop dealing with them, right? You've made this decision to stop being in the middle, and make that decision for yourself, okay? Because that's what I see here. I feel like you've tried, you've done your due diligence, okay? So moving forward through the week, um, I see that you really wanted a turning point. You really wanted for something to change and that didn't happen. So not feeling like things were balanced and you're giving and trying to make things work and it just doesn't seem like you're getting that kind of energy back. And you're not... You don't have the foundations or you don't feel stable in this situation, right? Um, and the Ace of Wands comes up twice in reverse, both in reverse, saying that there was blocks to the growth of the relationship, to where it is that you wanted to go in this relationship. And that's not fair at all. The Wheel of Fortune comes because it, it's, it's almost like it was time for you to see this or time for you to deal with it. Meaning you went past your expiration, okay, to try to make it work and it just didn't. So I see a breakup, a separation. You may also try to come back or they are going to try to come back to you because they feel like it was an injustice or they feel like it's really separating. So I need to scramble to kind of get you back or to get you to pay attention. I see that that makes you happy for a short time, okay? Um, but be careful because you haven't made those foundations with that person, okay? But the fear of being separated, the fear of letting this person or the fear of you letting them go has made them kind of scramble back. Um, I see you taking your time. Um, I see you being open but taking it very slowly. You're not jumping into anything because why would you? I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. The devil talks about you needing to let an aspect of this go that's not healthy, right? You, you've been thinking about it, processing it, um, and now you're coming out 
of that, right? There's an aspect of that with the devil coming out in reverse again that needs to be let go, right? It's not healthy. It's not fun. You know, where you are right now, it's not a fun situation, especially at the beginning of the week. You're tired of fighting and you're tired of arguing. You're tired of going back and forth. And um, it feels like you need to take some sort of action. And this is the action that you are choosing to take, right? You would like to be in this relationship, but it's so much of a burden for you to be putting all the energy or trying to balance everything. It's not fair. I do see the other person really trying to change your judgment, but you have already made a judgment. Um, after waiting and after paying attention, you 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 know where you want to go with this. You would like for it to work, but it just doesn't seem like like it's working. So in your best judgment for yourself and for your own stability, you're choosing to step away, okay? But I, I still see that you are going to continue to be friends if you have family with this person because you have that emotional connection with them, okay? And that, that could drag you back in, okay? Yeah, they do see, they get fearful because you decide uh, you want to walk away. Okay, so they come rolling back in. This could be a Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, okay, uh, because of the Knight of Swords. But I see them trying to give you a lot of communication to get you to stay. Um, but you're, <laughs> you're mentally separated from this. You are happy that they do want to try or start something new. You may see a little change in them towards the end of the week. Um, and the whole point is for you to perceive that or for you to see that as them changing. And I do feel like you do, okay? Um, but because you don't have faith or you see it happening the same way it is, I feel like um, you're going to try to go back or try to resolve it, especially by the end of the week. It's like you take a, a moment to try and work things out, okay? I see you're going to try. Do I think it's good for you? No. I feel like you're going to be going through the same things over and over again, but it's your life, right? So you have adversity. I accept the challenges are the best way to learn. That comes up because the challenges, the ups and downs are trying to teach you something, okay? It's up to you what you get from it, all right? That's what they're telling me to say. It's so interesting because you know what you should do. You have so many cards of things not moving and things not growing, but uh, you still try. Healing family issues, and that's what you're going to try to do. It feels like they make a change and you go, you know, well, this is them really trying to change, so I'm going to try to heal. And that's, that's the end of it, is that you're going to try to heal and... Um, try to think positively about the situation and kind of try to go back into it okay so thank you so much for listening um i will see you again next week for more self-discovery love and light to you cancer bye bye